what is the process behind designing a swimsuit brand well in today's video you are going to see the behind the scene of my process designing a swimsuit brand called Femal. Okay, so first, hi, I'm Justine, a graphic designer specialized in brand identity design. On YouTube, I love to share my design process, design style, and other graphic design tips. But you can also follow me on Instagram. This is where I post all fun brand design projects and all of my recent work. Now, let's get started with the process behind the design. Okay, so first we have the client brief. I always start a brand design project based on a client brief. Today we are designing a personal project, so I made up that brief. If this branding project was for a client, I would have get this brief directly from them thanks to a discovery call, ask them a bunch of questions about their businesses, their goals, their values, their competitors, and more. In a notion board, I add all the information I have about the brand. So let's talk about Femal. Femal is a woman-owned brand that sells swimsuits for women only. The brand is described to me as fearless, sexy and chill. They are an online shop and are planning on launching their website very soon. Femal wants to be distinctive from the crowd with some bold and fun colors, animal prints and some visual recognition. They would love to have a mascot uh, to represent their brand, either a tiger or a lion. Now let's talk about inspiration. This is the fun part of the branding process. And this is when I start looking at some inspiration for building this brand. I usually find most of my inspiration on Behance, Dribble, but also Instagram. But most of my inspo are coming from Pinterest. So on Pinterest, I would create a board and I will start adding lots of different assets that I found there that I can spark my creativity, like packaging, texture, imageries, colors, other products products like anything that can influence my design decisions. After I made this inspirational board on Pinterest, it's time to create the real mood board. So from this Pinterest board, I will create another board where I will pick up some image from that Pinterest board and add it uh, together to bring up a feeling. There's no wrong way to make a mood board. You can make it horizontal, vertical, square. It's up to you as long as at the end you explain your creative decision. If this was made for a client, I will present him with two different mood board styles. And I will explain every decision I made into this mood board into a small PDF document. And I will let him decide which style he would rather go for his brand. The mood board is complete. We know what direction we are going with. So it's time for some sketches. This is where some magic can happen. I just draw and sketch as many ID as I can. In this case, I will start by writing the name of the brand, then take in consideration that they want a mascot logo, so I will have to draw either a tiger or a lion at some point. They also want some animal pattern, and I will just go over other things that cross my mind at a time. All right, first draft, vector logo in black and white. In the this first draft, we are finally into Adobe Illustrator. I said finally because we can have an Adobe Illustrator also when we are, you know, making our mood boards. I'm making mood boards in Adobe Illustrator, but like we really get into our work in Adobe Illustrator while we are creating our logo, refining our illustration we've made into our sketches. So I will bring over all of the sketches that I've done in Procreate and I will bring them into Adobe Illustrator. This stage is probably where I spend the longest time. I will choose between multiple fonts to find the one that I will probably end up and customize to make the primary logo and all those logo variations for this brand. And then I would also try to find any kind of fonts that I can use on copies for websites or packagings, any other print collateral that the client would um, like to use. So there's a lot of, but once I find it, I start designing and usually I present my client with two 
different concepts so you will have uh, two different ideas of logo with the same vibe just maybe different aspects of this logo into uh, PDF sheets explaining those design decisions and I will let him the choice to tell me which one he loves the best. From there he can make any refinement from the concepts he choose and we can go into the second draft. Okay, in this second draft, I will start working with colors. I want to make sure the color palette I am choosing for the brand matches with the vibe and feel I want for the target audience. Once I love the colors, I am going to make sure they work with one another. So I will test out contrast in between one to the other color and I'll make sure to explain to the client how and when certain colors need to be used. In this third draft or stage, I start incorporate the logo and the colors into imagery or mockups. So I will look at finding some relevant mockups. So in this case, we are going to look at swimsuit packaging boxes, bags, business or thank you cards. And for the imagery, I will try to incorporate the logo into a swimsuit or like on overlay of an image to, you know, presenting like as a display. All right, so now let's talk about brand presentation and brand guideline. In this case, since this brand is made up, I will not make a brand presentation or a brand guideline. But if this was for a client, once everything is ready, I will send a brand presentation document where I share everything about the brand, more decision taken, a full immersion of their brand in action. From there, if the client is happy, we go directly of sending files and brand guideline. This brand guideline manual explaining everything about your brand, how to use it, where, the do and don'ts and all of that is basically like the bible of your brand identity. If the client is not entirely satisfied, well, no worries, there's always refinement to make. We can also make changes at this stage and make sure the client is happy with the final results. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about the design process, please let me know in the comment down below. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads. Until next time, take care. Thank you for watching.